Welcome back to Let's Play Ep Let's Play Episode 109. That's what I was trying to say. Gross. Gran Turismo 4 Episode 109. Christ. Anyway, we're moving on to Volkswagen. We're skipping Opal for now because I kind of want that to be the grand finale of the stream. So, that's the whole plan for it. First thing we're tackling today is the Beetle Cup. Which, uh, I don't know if you can actually buy the Beetle Cup car. But you can, and it's cheap. Wow, that, that's actually really cheap. It's less than the RSI, surprisingly. Now, unfortunately, there's not a pink one because memes. So we'll go with Blurple Nurple instead. Because, uh, Beetle. So, yeah, stuff and things. Let's see what kind of tires we got on this. I'm pretty sure it's hards. Yeah. So, there's kind of no point in doing any tuning to it because I'm going to be overpowered because AI versus all-natural guaranteed human. So, five short races for this championship should be a quickie. So, we'll go and give ourselves the AIDS vaccine by... Bye. Bye. And we'll take a sip of our rowdy trademark energy drink. Not sponsored. Which, uh, I don't think I want to waste too much time, so I'll just go ahead and figure out what's up with these AI, because the A-spec points are higher than they should be. <clears throat> Does it help that my throat is dry today, like every other day I try to stream? Alright, what do y'all got? They do have super softs. You cheaters. Interesting. So, because of that, I am going to go... Just to mediums, because, yeah, I don't really need super softs to beat them. But I also think just for, I can't reverse those. Where's my streaming beverage? It is a Rowdy Trademark en Energy Drink for today, back on the OG. Actually, the OG is kind of a monster, but... LA Fitness, you need to fucking stop calling me because it's obvious I'm not ready to get a membership there, you freaking hex. <clears throat> I got a trial at a gym membership the other week and they're still fucking calling me. Like, take the hint at this point. But you know what? I think the tires are more than enough. Let's just give this another try. Hopefully it's not too easy to the point where it's boring, but it might be. I don't know. So, get right into it. Down to 90, so... Decent amount of a spec points. I would prefer 100 or more, but I don't want to spend all day just... trying to get that one specific thing. What do I think about GT7 on PC? Well, I have yet to see like any actual evidence of it being a thing. So I'm, I don't, I don't really like talking about things that aren't actually confirmed or that's just speculation. So I don't really have anything to comment on it really. Cause there's so much fake shit going around so much clickbait, so much like leaks that people are trying to get cloud off of I and mean, they're just not even true to begin with or there's literally no evidence for it so yeah that's pretty much the reason besides like where did where are people even hearing that from like i know people have been 
saying like GT7 might come on PC in the future, but they've literally like never stated why other than like, well, this game did it or that game did it. Until I hear it from Sony or Polyphony themselves, and I don't buy it. Same with same goes for like GT7 leaks in general. Like there was a recent leak, uh, one about one or two weeks ago that was going over about five cars. It was like, oh well, we found these in the code, but it's they're literally just showing a screenshot of a spreadsheet with strings on them, and it's like that's not enough evidence. I don't know where, what you want me to do with that information, you know. And then there was another one that had a few dozen cars on it saying that they were going to come out for GT7, but also no actual proof of it being in the game code. It's literally just like a list of text. That's all it is. Like, what are we supposed to base that off of? What do I think about the Yaris 1.5 T Sport 02 for a daily car? Well, I've never driven one. And I would definitely not buy a car just because it's a meme car. Because cars are a lot of money. And it's got to be something I like. What I can tell you, though, is whenever it comes to Econo boxes, like a 3 and 4 liter whatever everyday normie cars, I am absolutely miserable on them. Because they are really hard to overtake in on, like, one-lane highways and stuff, and they're just miserable to drive in general. So the only real, I guess you can say, normie car I would ever want is like a truck, because it's actually useful. But yeah, I I typically don't like Econo boxes, even if they're good on gas mileage or anything. If I want something that's good on gas mileage, and I'm getting a uh, a Honda Grom or a dual sport bike or something like that. Which I am planning on getting one soon. As soon as YouTube picks back up again, which it's been pretty slow the past month or so. Uh, I did not do the oval races, but I have been doing the Group B daily race this week. Which I think that's probably my favorite one so far out of the very few that I have played. I think this week's Daily Race A is pretty sweet. The Oval one... It wasn't really intriguing enough for me. But I'm hoping they have another really fun one next week, because it seems like that's what, just, that's what they're going to do with uh, Daily Race A from now on. Just, okay, just... Push me off the track, I guess. Just make daily race A the uh, the fun, no fucks given race every week. Whoa, come on. This thing slides around quite a lot for front wheel drive. Kind of surprising. <clears throat> well, I'm all for fun races in general. I don't really care too much for, like, the typical daily or group A. Why do I keep saying the wrong shit? The typical group three and four races on Dragon Trail or 
Monza or any of that annoying shit. It just seems way too repetitive. I'm saying that, but I've like hardly touched sport whenever sport was a thing. And I hardly touch multiplayer in GT7 either. And I'm already sick of it. It's kind of weird because it seems like that car has a little bit more power than I do. Even though we're... Whenever I check the preview, these are also at 202 horsepower. Kind of weird. I always take that corner a little too fast. Cargo room. I don't think I'm going to catch first place. Big rip. Top secret Beatle tune. Now I just can't... Or now I'm just imagining a Beatle tuned by Top Secret. Or Bill. I don't know if Top Secret does tunes. I know a little bit about, like, that sort of stuff, but not enough. There's a beetle tuned by Roof. Well, there's a bunch of beetles built by Roof. They're called Porsches. Lol. Clarkson joke. Porsche wagon beetles. So, unfortunately, not a win there, but... We'll come back to that race at some point to uh, gold it, probably towards the end of the LP. We'll do like a, a cleanup session of all the gold trophies we didn't get. So on to race number three. I don't remember the rest of the tracks, so these are going to be surprises for me. What is our best time at Sukuba Circuit? We're about to find out. Come on. Come on, game. Why do you want to do this every now and then? Freaking re. I'm starting to think Vulcan isn't actually all that great because I'm still having issues with it. It's always at random times, too. It's not necessarily like only on the demanding tracks, even like the low demand tracks like this one, it just wants to start freezing up for some reason. Just got this game yesterday, nice. Unfortunately, you missed out on the, uh, how long has this been out? Like 18 years or so? Jesus. Christ, this game is old enough to drive itself. At least in the States. I think it's old enough to drink in the UK. The age to drink in the UK is 18, right? I know the age to drive there is 21. Last I remember. 
which I think that's absolutely absurd. I might have to start qualifying because this white car is just going to finish first place every race that I don't win. And that's going to be hard for points. I got to mix up the, uh, the grid a little bit. In Poland, it's 18 to, dr to drive and drink. You can drink and drive in Poland at 18? Nice. I'm just kidding. I know you meant that separately. <laughs> Oh, well, you literally just... Yeah, I didn't finish reading the comment. You disclaimed that, like, immediately. I'm a Dragon Ball... Well, I'm a recovering Dragon Ball addict. I don't usually read things. So uh, we actually got destroyed this race. <clears throat> Which means I definitely need to win the next two, so that means I'm going to be qualifying. Which thankfully you can do, at least in the championship races. Would be nice to do it in every race, but... They didn't want to include that for some reason. So, big rip. I did not see what my best time at Tsukuba Circuit was. Sad moment. I'll have to look at the recording later. So, on to race number four. And it's at Suzuka of all places for one single lap. So, although it is a standing start, I think I still want to qualify for it. So, let's do two laps of qualifying for a one lap race. Yay. Love it. So, first place by six seconds. <laughs> we probably didn't need to qualify, but... the At least the white car is starting in fifth now, so hopefully it'll get a lot less points. More stuttering, nice. It did get a much better start than me, though. I am playing on the emulator. PCSX2 1.7.2650, I think. It's a, it's a dev build version, because they're still working on 1.7 or 1.8. Okay, you're just pushing me off track. That's a... That should be a penalty for you. Oh, wait. Wrong game. Attempted to be funny. Kind of failed. I usually do the B license on GT2 after I get the Spoon S2000. Endurance at Trial Mountain... Interesting strat. Sometimes I would, um... If I was a real idiot, or feeling like a real idiot that day, I would buy the NA Miata from... Or as a starter car on GT3, and then do the Roadster Endurance. Trying to get the... The Formula car. Which, most of the time it didn't work out, because it's a 1 out of 4 chance of winning it. No, the white car actually moved up into fourth. Something happened with the far back car. I guess it flew off track somewhere. Uh, 
That was a massive corner cut. Well, the GT3 Escudo, same with the Escudo in any of the games, is kind of useless on an actual circuit. Only good if you're wall riding or on the test course. Or rally, of course, but... I am on a wheel. Logitech G29. I need a sip of the old rowdy here. I think I like GT3 more than 4. Well, <clears throat> the colors on GT3 were better. But it was really lacking in content. <clears throat> My fucking throat's so dry today. Eek. And I don't think the energy drinks are really helping that. So, final race at Fuji Speedway, 2005. Yeah, I like the variety of the, the Formula GT cars in Gran Turismo 3. Because you had the old school turbo ones and the NA ones. Or as GT4, you're just stuck with a, uh, a 2004 knockoff. Masuka's GT3 concept mod? I have- oh, oh okay. Hello, uh, video bugs. Also, I didn't qualify, but I don't think it's necessary because I should win this pretty easily. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, with mods you can easily fix a GT4 chase cam, but it's actually... A loose chase cam is actually worse on a wheel, speaking from experience, because there is a like a, uh, a loose chase cam code for GT4, but I tried it, and I can't really drive that well on a wheel with it, but with this one, I can drive better. Still not as good as a roof or bumper cam, though. But I'll do chase cam for this one, because I haven't done it the, the whole episode so far. Ooh, let's see if I can get in front of him before the finish. Which it looks like I will. Nice. Yeah, the Formula GT cars on this game are incredibly sketch. Because, especially on one track I've always had a problem with the Formula GT cars is midfield. Every time I went through the chicane, the front would get just way too much grip and you would just pretty much snap over steer violently. And uh, it was really hard to prevent that from happening. The Formula GT Championship is going to suck really bad whenever I get to it. But thankfully that's not for a while. Oh, you put the mod into your ISO? I didn't even know you could do that. Whoa! Hello there. I don't think so. We got an average GT7 player on our hands. 
<laughs> you stay back. F word off. Crap idiot. Yeah, the the races that are going to suck the most with the Formula GT cars are El Capitan, <clears throat> High Speed Ring, Midfield, which if that race is part of the Formula GT, and Nürburgring. I don't think Lasarth is going to be that bad, but it's still going to be pretty bad. formula I got gordo grip my fucking throat is so dry i need to go get a glass of water after i end this episode so another measly 2500 credits and for the championship 25,000. so we still didn't make a return on our investment with this car even with the medium slicks but oh well Price car time. I wonder what it could be. I wonder if it's going to be a Beetle. Hmm. I wonder if it's actually going to be useful. Okay, not useful. And it is a Beetle. But at least it's a cool one. And not that gross shit we were driving. So let's go have a gander. I kind of like these old school ones. Let's uh, go off of hardware renderer because of the slow-mo. We can actually see it in full speed. Oh look, a beetle. So there we have it. With that, stay tuned for more Grand Turismo 4.